What's good, what's good, what's good, fam? How y'all feeling out there, man? We're going to speak on it. We're going to talk about it. You dig? Y'all know me, man. I'm going to get right to the point, man, and, and just get my feelings and my thoughts on this whole situation going down with your boy, Academics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all before, man, I had my feelings about Academics, man, when I felt like he was riding a 6 9 wave, and I felt like he was building up snitching culture, and I felt like we should be building up honorable culture where we respect our, respect ourselves and respect our, the people around us and just have honor, bro. You know what I'm saying? I understand that six nine may have went through things with the different individuals he was involved with. But my whole thing is being a man of character and understanding how to hold your own weight and not worry about the next man and not try to do something to the next man. You know what I mean? As far as the legal system, like I said. But like I say, man, our academics was having a lot of back and forth with, with Meek Mill and stuff like that, saying they can't counsel him and things of that nature. And he was coming at different individuals like John Legend and his old lady and stuff like that. And um, I seen him. He was talking about the different flopping albums and stuff like that and the sales that wasn't really uh, meeting expectation and stuff like that. And I watched a little bit of the video. You know what I'm saying? I kind of felt like it was six, a little bit of 6 9 rubbing off on him. You know what I mean? Like I said, I respect every man out here trying to get their hustle on and try to make their money to feed their family. You know what I'm saying? The academics was a man that came from the YouTube platform that was able to build his brand to be able to, you know what I mean, get the money, get into a position where he was, have a little power and got a little comfortableness for his financially situation. We all strive to be great in this YouTube thing and, and try to just make it from here to something bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? We all strive for that. We all put in that effort to get to that, that format. You know what I mean? Like I say, I watch all the great YouTubers, man, from the Carcinos to the Jordan Towers, you know what I mean, to the King Ernie's, you know what I mean, to the Kale Gills. I watch all the greats, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like every great YouTuber have a piece of them that you can learn from. And I understand DJ Academics, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what was it Classic? Uh, uh, what was it? Um, Hip Hop Classic Daily. I mean, all the greats, man. I pay attention to them. I watch them. You know what I mean? And um, and I try to learn as much as possible I can, I can learn. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like, if, if, you, if you love what you do and you enjoy what you do, you should try to elevate yourself to the next level. And how you do that is by watching Michael Jordan. Like Kobe had to watch Michael Jordan. So if I'm watching Carcino or DJ Academics or any of these people, I got to learn what did they, their, from their mistakes and what made them who they are today. And that's what I'm doing on my YouTube journey. You know what I mean? Each time I get on this platform, I try to learn and study the greats. You know what I mean? But like I said, not to get off topic and stuff like that. My whole thing about his apology with the complex thing and his issues with the John Legend and uh, his old lady or whatever. And him having to apologize and as far as he was speaking on Meat Mill and all of that. You know, I'm a big Meat Mill fan and things of that nature. Like I said, I don't get into grown man beef. You know what I'm saying? And I can't speak on from Meat perspective or none of that. But like I can say, I can give my opinion on how I feel about the situation. I understand where DJ Academics and Sis Now was coming from as far as snitching. Right. If you're going against the snitching culture or you're going against being around rats and then you're affiliating yourself with a rat, which I was trying to I was sitting back one day and I was thinking to myself, I say, how many people in the regular world that's not big time stars like a meat mill or Nicki Minaj or nothing like that regular world that work jobs that they hang with, they be around snitches all the time, bro. That's a fact. You might be at Burger King flipping burgers or something and you're, the nigga that you talking to a whole rat. You know what I'm saying? But what, you going to lose your job? Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that work in these corporations, shipyard and different stuff be hanging around. They be rats. They be a lot of rats in there. Not saying everybody is. I'm saying my, my whole perspective is sometimes you be working with rats around you at those jobs if you're not just slinging pies on the street. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you just, if you a nigga that's working in the field, you got to understand what working in the field and being a, a regular citizen or having that card as a regular citizen as getting a job, you may be working with a bunch of rats. And that's a fact. You may not know it. You may not, you know what I mean? Then when you do know it, what you going to do? Quit your job? Especially if you got to feed your family and shit. See, that was the point that 6 9 and I was trying to make is like when they see me with the uh, young lady or whatever, or Jay and them company with the young lady, they were trying to say like, y'all, y'all involvement. And then he was saying like people got deals where they are signed and stuff to people that are affiliated with bringing down different organizations of crime. You know what I mean? So if you're doing stuff like that, 
It's like it, it 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 takes away the idea of you not hanging around snitches and stuff. You know what I mean? So, like I say, it makes a lot of sense. I get what he's saying. But like I say, if you're going to say that you're not going to hang around snitches, you don't condone snitches, then you got to always search an account. But like I say, it'd be bigger than the actual individual, especially if you got people that own the labels. Like I say, they were saying another, they spoke on another thing. They said, what if the label owner was a rat or a snitch and they offering you $2 million and you come from the hood and you ain't got no money in your pocket? You're going to take that deal. You don't give a damn if they're a rat because that's not you. You know what I mean? You're going to take the deal and you're going to move forward. But him having to apologize, I just feel like the climate that we in right now, him disrespecting the woman, period, was going to be flagged and it, it was going to go down. And he, I, I feel like this, when you reflect in the inside and you start to look yourself in the mirror, you start to say, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Because at the end of the day, it's about you building your character and being a better person yourself. And then what you understand is people are going to say a lot of stuff. But as you get bigger and within your business, you got to find it in yourself to be able to say, why, why I'm even worrying about that when I'm having so much success right now? I can't, I can't allow negative energy to cloud my thoughts of where I'm at now. Because you got to think, you come from the YouTube platform to building a brand of yourself, to having millions of followers and, and being able to get, I don't know how much money the guy got, but to be able to be in a better financial place, what 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 can they say to tear down what you got if you move in positive positive and even ignoring the idea of them even saying something negative to you? You know what I mean? So it's all about that. You know what I mean? I just I just feel like the apology was needed. You know what I'm saying? I respect it. You know what I mean? Because it take a lot for a man or a woman or anybody to apologize. But like I say, when he look in the mirror, he got to understand that that's not the way to take it no more. You know what I mean? I'm bigger. I'm bigger now. And I'm stronger now. And I'm in a better place now. So it's like I don't have to knock somebody else off to be seen because everybody already know who I am. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to do that. You feel me? But like I say, change is always needed, man. Ain't nobody perfect. And people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like he'll grow from it. He'll learn from it. And like I say, sometimes you can hang around all uh, six, nine too much and start <laughs> involving into that character, man. <laughs> like I say, I ain't never really seen him ever come out of pocket like that before. Like I say, you never know what a person doing behind closed doors. But like I said, that was um that was a different element that I had never seen before. You know what I mean? But like I say, it may have been always him. You know what I'm saying? He just probably would, he kept it peaceful. You know what I mean? But like I say, man, um, my whole take is that it was a needed apology. He did it. You know what I'm saying? And he understood what he was wrong at. And I think that's what, that's, that's what, that's what had to be done. You know what I mean? But that's all I got to say on that, man. Love, peace, joy, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Don't forget to go to the description box, man. We got some great things down there for y'all. Love y'all.